My office was in the upper room building in Nashville. That's out there where Vanderbilt scared out in that neighborhood. And there was a little hamburger joint down the street. And when we were pushing to desegregate the restaurants, we met with the mayor. He didn't do anything. So we start sitting in. And I picked that little restaurant down the street because it was close to me. And I used to go down whenever I was in town. I go down there every day for lunch. Every day I get the same thing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the lady, same little waitress like she picked on me every day. We don't serve Negroes. I said, I don't eat Negroes. <laughs> Asked for a hamburger <laughs> and a coney coney. She said, Well, you can't get it here. It's all right. And I'd have Ellen fix me a sandwich. I opened the sandwich, unfolded a napkin, get my little thermos jug, put it on the thing, sit there as a lot, ate my sandwich, drank my thing, fold my napkin back up, leave it on the counter. Worn out. I was out of town for about four or five days. Called Evelyn. She said, Listen, what? Said the mayor took y'all's advice. The restaurants have opened up two days ago. I said, I can't wait to get back. I wanted to get to my little hamburger place. <laughs> and when I went in, I saw that the same little waitress, little white lady with red hair. Looked like she saw me. And I thought I heard her say, where you been? <laughs> and she can I said, I want a hamburger and a coli coli. She says, how you want it? I said, well done. She came back, put the hamburger down. And then she said something strange to me. She said, Brother Lowry, I, I didn't know she knew, knew my name. She said, may I pay for your hamburger? <laughs> what, 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 what? She said, yeah. I said, yeah, why? She said, let me tell you. Then she choked up. She started crying. I started crying. <laughs> Two fools sitting, <laughs> kind of crying. All four went, what's the matter with these four? She said, you don't know how it hurt me to have to tell you yeah. I couldn't serve you. Yeah. She said, I'm a, I'm a Christian woman. Yeah. God taught me to love everybody. But I couldn't serve you because I, I ain't got no husband. I got three little children. I had to have my job. Boss told me I couldn't serve, so I couldn't serve. But every night when I went home and you came, I prayed, asked God to forgive me. She said, I thank God. I thank God today I can serve you. You know what she was saying? I'm free at last. Free at last. Ah, thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. Our movement freed white folk, black folk, green folk, all folk.